Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Manny Ortiz and I'm going to be talking about the best lens that you can put on a Sony E-mount camera that's not going to break the bank. And that is the Sigma 30mm 1.4. I originally got this lens to do video, to do some cinematic video on a gimbal because of its form factor. But guess what? It turns out that it's a really good photography lens as well. So I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Sony has kind of neglected the Sony APS-C lineup of lenses. And it's a shame because the 6500 is such a capable camera. It's my, my, my main video camera right now. But luckily Sigma has made a couple of really nice lenses for this camera that's not gonna break the bank. The 30 millimeter 1.4 has really, really impressed me, right? The form factor, it's such a small lens. And it pairs up so nicely with the A6500, especially considering that it has an f 1.4 aperture <laughs> you know what's up oh oh yeah f 1.4 so it is it gives you an equivalent of an f2 on a full frame so you're gonna get the blur of an f2 on a full frame which is really which, which is really nice so you're getting a really fast aperture with a really small form factor now considering the image quality that you get out of this lens i have to say that for about 330 dollars this is the best uh, budget option, best budget lens that you can buy for the Sony A6500. Hey, what's up everyone? So I know what you're probably thinking, that Sony makes uh, cheaper lenses, right? Like the 50 1.8, they actually make two versions of 50 1.8, but um, the reason why I'm not recommending those lenses is because when paired on a crop sensor camera, you're going to get around a 75, 80 millimeter. And that's not a very practical focal length. I know when I put a 50 on my first camera, it was, it was not very practical. You know, it was like a good portrait lens, but it wasn't a really good all around lens. So I think the 30 millimeter giving, it's going to give you around a 45 to 50 uh, millimeter focal length. It's a better all around kind of lens. You know what I mean? Um, that's why I recommend it over getting the 50, honestly. And plus, you know, um, Sony makes a 35 1.8. This one has an f 1.4 aperture. And look, look at this. You're getting a camera with such a small form factor. So this lens is super light. It's almost like there's no lens on there. It's super light. Okay, come on, come on. So it's super small and it keeps the form factor really nice and small. So your camera setup doesn't get big and you have an f1.4 aperture that's the that's one of the biggest uh perks of you know this lens you know um it's really good in low light and you're gonna have those nice nice blurry backgrounds if that's what you if that's what you want overall it just it isn't all peaches and cream okay this lens does suffer from a, a decent amount of distortion that i've noticed it also has pretty bad vignetting and it also has a pretty bad chromatic aberration so uh, with that said it's still a great lens <laughs> Um, you could you could definitely fix it in post like I do and it's not that big a deal It actually surprised me how much distortion it had and I can I'll pull up an example here um, it, it does have some distortion, but it's easily correctable when you when you click uh, profile corrections in Lightroom So uh, like I said, not that big a deal. You know, what's funny is that Sony is really concentrating on its full frame market right now And you know, I, I don't blame them because they're killing it right now with the full frame, but um, I still have a lot of love for my APS-C camera because of the form factor i love i mean you're getting you're getting really really good quality out of a, a camera that is like okay what am i doing right now a camera that is this big you know it's tiny it's like it's tiny okay the, the reason why I, i'm still using this camera is because it's so good on a gimbal um i like light setups on a gimbal using this lens or the 16 millimeter 1.4 Sigma, which I'm using on my camera right now, is great for gimbal work. You know, you, your your arm doesn't tire out. Um, it has really good autofocus. So yeah, definitely, um, this is a really good gimbal lens. And I know a lot of my friends use it for gimbal and they love it. Uh, so links to all the gear in this video down below. I post weekly videos, yes baby. So I post weekly videos on my YouTube channel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And I'll see you next week. But I'm just showing you an example. Imagine you're somewhere else and you quickly, you're switching your orientation from landscape to portrait or vice versa, and you want to nail the shot and you have to move your focusing point all across the frame. Well, you can just press the dedicated button 
and get the shot, get perfect focus on her eye. So we were done with the shoot, right? Camera's in the bag. We're walking to Dunkin' Donuts to get our 